dwell. He went to Washington, forgot about Georgia, and that's the reason right. I decided to run. That's the reason I'm going to say this, Brian. I, I'm not Lindsey Graham, but you got to go to TeamHerschel.com. I want everyone to go to TeamHerschel.com because they're not going to buy this seat. They're, they can't win on their policies. So what they're trying to do right now is buy this seat where they're not going to buy it. I don't care where you're getting this money from. It's not coming from Georgia. Georgia is not for sale. I want everyone right. to know that Georgia is not for sale. The people are turning up to vote. I love the Lord Jesus. That's the reason I got into this race. And we're going to go out and beat this, beat the Senator and whatnot because he don't stand for Georgia. Hey, thank you. God bless. And TeamHerschel.com, I love you. Hey, God be with you. Right. You are doing your best Lindsey Graham impression. So good job. All right. Meanwhile, still ahead. God, so good job. Oh, that's condescending. Oh, that's infantilizing. But uh, we learned a lot in that video, okay? Uh, we learned about his trouble apparently raising money. And so he's doing the Lindsey Graham like, they're killing me out of here, please donate. They're gonna break my thumbs. <laughs> uh, so he does need money. We also learned why Herschel Walker decided to run. Sorry, we learned two different explanations for why he decided to run. Because at one point in the video, he decided to run because Raphael Warnick went to DC and forgot about Georgia. Later on, he decided to run because he loves Jesus or something. <laughs> Coming up on the show, there's gonna be a third reason he gives as to why he decided to run or whatever. I don't think he honestly knows or can remember from minute to minute. But what he did focus on there was Raphael Warnick is raising all this money. He's being bought, he's trying to buy Georgia or whatever. Not Herschel Walker, okay? He's not gonna allow outside money to involve this race. Well, except all of whatever his money he has since he's not from inside of Georgia. We'll get to that in a little bit. But what about the way he's been raising money? Look, he's been raising money from uh, the elites, from billionaires from very early on in this race. A half dozen members of the world's billionaires list have already donated at least $100,000 individually to his campaign. That includes people, uh, you know, for instance, uh, Bernie Marcus, who is a billionaire who is at least, you know, involved in Georgia, uh, donated $1.75 million to the Super PAC 34N22, which is supporting Walker. Industrialist Dennis Washington donated another half million dollars. And by the way, you don't get to claim that you're like a small dollar fundraiser when you have industrialists. <laughs> like it's the 1910s or whatever again, <laughs> giving you money. Investors, uh, Charles Johnson, Nelson Peltz each kicked in $100,000 individually. Oil and gas magnate Trevor Reese Jones and his wife wrote $50,000 checks. So he's got the industrialists and the magnates, you know, populist stuff. <laughs> anyway, uh, Steve Wynn is a casino mogul. That's a third category of supporters. He's got the industrialists, the magnates, and the moguls who are supporting him. He kicked in a bunch of money. And then you have uh, outside packs like Trump's Make America Great Again action and Make America Great Again Again, which is a real thing. They've spent nearly $200,000, and this is for much earlier on the race. I honestly don't even know what they've spent as of today. Putting in a whole bunch of money and getting outside bankers and business partners and uh, Kenny Trout, who I, I think is a fish, he's giving money. Uh, the, the, the wife of the owner of Jimmy John's gave money. Like, okay, I get that you need money and you get to raise money because we haven't yet gotten money out of politics, which we desperately need to, but along the way, you don't get to take money from every rich a-hole in America and then claim that you're the one who's just for the people and Raphael Warnick's being bought by outside interests. What they is it that think. they're getting out of this? So look, these, these, these big guns that are uh, or big deep pocketed donors that are given all this money. Usually, you know, if it's an election, they figure you can win, you're gonna help tilt the influence of power. Maybe you can push the policies that'll help us continue to gouge the American people, screw people over and just do it with uh, full backing of Congress and our laws, right? That's the whole idea. Herschel Walker winning isn't gonna change that necessarily. I guess it'll be like, it'll look decently for him to be in the Senate. Or whatever, but that's not going to do anything to influence things to their uh, to their liking. So they're dumping all this money, and for the sake of maybe the party still understanding that they support, I don't know, because it's always like a straightforward, hey, we do this and you do what I tell you, because I gave you money and that's how I got you into this job in the first place. This seems a little bit different than that, so I'm wondering what the, that approach is. Uh, but I, I, even outside of that, I'm curious how much the uh, money the Monopoly man gave uh, <laughs> with his dropped over his top hat and dropped a bunch of cash into his face. Uh, mm -hmm. But also, this it just stuck out to me, somewhat unrelated, but make America great again, again. So it took. So he made America great in four years. That's what Republicans keep telling me. Donald Trump made America great. He lived up to his promises. 
It's been like two years, bro. And America's already destroyed again in two years, bro. You didn't put together very good infrastructure here if it's already gone again. If old crippled brain dead Biden can destroy the country in two more years, what did you do in those four? Sounds pretty fragile. If we give you another four years, I'm not too sure you can make it great again, again, and again. Well, that's coming up in four years, the make America great again, again, again. Um, (laughs) Always be making America great again. That's what I always say, always be doing that. Anyway, so he's got to raise the money. And as of right now, Raphael Warnick has been throughout the race raising more money. Again, not a guarantee that Warnick is going to win. And of all of the three different signs I've now presented to you that uh, Walker might be in trouble, this is probably the least like that you could really rely on because this is indicating that Herschel Walker is concerned, but that would require him to understand literally anything about what's going on. And so we can't put much stock in that, unfortunately. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.